Now, kingmakers in Drapa have unanimously endorsed the regent of Drapa, Na Justice Donglabong Dina, as successor to the late Na Ansole Gana II. This makes him the fifth chief of Drapa in over a hundred years. Justice Dina pledged to rebuild the iconic Drapa Na's palace, which used to be a great tourism site, but has now almost turned into rubble. Rafiq Salam reports. It was crystal clear. And the writing was on the wall that Najas's Dolabon Dina was going to be the successor to the late Nagana Ansole II, otherwise known in private life as Peter Tenganaban Namfuri. A chick that will grow into a rooster is already spotted the very day it hatches. 41 year old Justice Dolabon Dina is a teacher by profession and is in charge of culture and language studies at the Jiriba Municipal Office of the Ghana Education Service. He learned the ropes and rudiments of the tradition and culture of the people working as a secretary to the late Na Ghana Ansole II. He has no difficulty fitting into the role because his father, Tankoba, served in the same portfolio to the late Bakwanji Na Yerpui II. Almost six months, after the battle of the late Na Ansole Gana II processes to perform his final funeral rites before a new chief is chosen, kick started. The rites were laid with eight other persons from the family who, during the course of the year, had passed on. Anthony Jordan Batier, a tendana from Mogiri, explained further. If you are a farmer, you farm. When you are no more, we have to produce a, a sheep according to your farming uh, this thing. And then we add the millet. It is the millet that we are going to give to the, the women. Those husbands who that are of lay, they will now go and turn it into malt or pitomite and then bring it the two weeks that we are put today. Every year. That is what we do. Okay. But it's only this year that have coincided with the passing on of the chief. Okay. So we have also added his thing. The choreographed spectacle and meticulous performance of the final funeral rites of the nine persons lasted for almost seven hours. After that, the announcement that many had waited with bated breath to hear in the municipality and beyond, an announcement that will shape the future of Jiriba municipality and its people. The seven recognized scheme makers were unanimous in their decision and amplified by Anton Dodan Batier, who serves as one of their spokespersons. We have already come out with a, a successor who is a Na Justice Dolabundina. Uh -huh. And I think a, a date has been given by the elders as 30th of uh, December 2023. Now just as Zola Bondina sat a few meters away from where the announcement was made, he winked a smile, shook his head, with his fist held to each other, probably thinking about the responsibility that had just been placed on him. I am humbled by the decision of the Tendamba. Just like I was humbled when my elder brother, Na Ansule Gana II, appointed or nominated me as uh, his personal secretary. So it is today that uh, the Tindamba, after this ritual, finds it prudent to nominate me as a successor. Before his adoring, he already had his eyes fixed on reconstructing the iconic story, Debana's palace, which has now almost turned into rubble. It's one thing that I so much wish that in the nearest future it will be rebuilt and we will go back to our old glory. I'm saying this because uh, if if you happen to have visited the old palace, you will see a new edifice there, an auditorium block. Uh, it took my intervention and lobbying to get it erected. 
it took us just eight months. So I'm, I won't be surprised if it will take us less than that to build the palace. Najas Zdonlebondina is expected to be coronated on December 30. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam, Jireba.